innovation is like uh, investment in capital after all when there are innovations in in the private sector at the individual level by ngos at the grassroots level similar innovations take place in public systems in the government in different states in different public institutions so that was uh, really the basis for setting up this uh, center for uh, innovations in public systems sips it was great that the government gave sufficient funds to start the whole uh, institution of sips and uh, luckily they found uh, mr chakrapani d chakrapani who was in the a member of the indian administrative service and he was prepared to quit the ias and join uh, sips during the last 5 years in one way or the other i got associated with the work of uh, sips i must uh, say that uh, sips has really opened the eyes of the various governments they have really gone to the remote corners of every state they have reached out to officers they have identified many innovations in public systems in the field of uh, uh, rural development in the field of urban development in the field of uh, labor in the in the field of employment and exchange and health and education and uh, in a way there are many areas where there are interfaces between uh, individuals private ngos and the government and uh, these innovations are uh, by conducting meetings gathering people what really sips did was catalytic sips actually provided a forum for each uh, field and they got uh, representatives of different uh, institutions public institutions public authorities and people came and uh, presented what they did in one way i think the entire concept of sips which created a debate a discussion and a constructive uh, intercourse on this uh, discourse on this kind of a of a uh, this uh, entire innovation uh, systems it created an incentive it created an incentive for people people who are innovating in the government they suddenly realized that there is a recognition to what they are doing and uh, so that enthused the entire uh, bureaucracy civil servants some states innovations are really outstanding so it gave an opportunity to the other states to understand some of these innovations and carry them forward into their own systems and in 5 years i think with a very meager uh, staff and meager funds if one would uh, measure the returns from this i think the returns are enormous very impressive sips also provides inputs vertically upwards into policy and many of these innovations go into policy level and both at the center and the state so i hope that this will happen and i would very strongly appeal to the central government and state government to come together join forces and support sips innovations in public systems is a, a fantastic concept because uh, the common belief is innovation and entrepreneurship are limited to either private or social sectors so on that score i would like to congratulate the people behind the concept initiation and implementation of the center for innovations in public systems i am familiar with what has happened in the past 5 years through sips in the area of healthcare both in the area of improving access to good quality healthcare for our people as well as in the area of enhancing the quality of medical education in our country in both these areas their attempts to continue to build on the existing systems within the public sector of india are quite impressive at the institutional level our own institute is involved with the government of telangana as an example in the creation of primary care i centers what we call vision centers within the primary health care system it is through the initiative of sips that this collaboration has happened and we are looking forward to develop models of an excellent public private partnership in this area because whenever we talk of 
reaching out to the people in the most neglected areas of our country. Unless we are innovative, we cannot overcome the issues of access, affordability, and availability. And it is in these respects that I th all the collaborative efforts that are brought about through the initiation of SIPs that are playing an important role. And I believe their influence extends far beyond healthcare. And I'd like to congratulate everybody that's part of the team of SIPs on their fifth anniversary. And I hope that they will continue to uh, move ahead with more and bigger programs that would have a much greater impact on several of the important critical areas that affect the lives of Indians all over the country. Thank you so much. I have been associated with uh, Center for Innovation in Public Systems for a long time. Um, I know Mr. Chakramani for a very, very long time. And uh, I feel very satisfied that uh, some very innovative works have been done by SIPs under Mr. Chakrabani's leadership. The, in the initial phase of uh, Center for Innovation in Public Systems, I was associated with the formulation of programs. Subsequently, I used to attend the meetings, the governing board meetings at Chief Secretary of Andhra Pradesh. I feel the center has come a long way and uh, I wish all the best to the center, particularly to Mr. Chakrapani for his untiring efforts. The center has done a large number of best practices documentation and that is a good thing. So I wish all the best to SIPS and I wish my very best to Mr. Chakrapani who has really done a very commendable work in a short span of time with all his constraints and uh, coordinating with the state government chief secretaries including with me when I was chief secretary of Andhra Pradesh. He has done a commendable job. I wish him all the best. I wish SIPS all the best in its efforts. The study of innovations in this country itself is an innovation. I think what is therefore important is that this stage of our experience, several experiments that are being made in the respect to you know, state governments have to be made available and accessible to the other states so that the other states can benefit and can use that policy instrument to the extent that's possible but at least the state governments are aware that such things are possible and they have become possible in some part of India and therefore they can as well say that that can be experimented in this part of uh, I think that is where perhaps innovation and innovation studies uh, you know becomes very important there is another dimension of this uh, center and I have been a part of that that periodically they also call the officers, call the stakeholders, call the people with experience and provide uh, a venue for interaction among them and uh, they bet, uh, benefit from that collective you know, wisdom uh, and uh, many of the officers who come from different parts of India to the center go back with fresh ideas because you know, if there is an officer who is working for 10-15 years in a system and gets used to a you know rule-minded nature and gets to stereotypes gets used to you know monotonous working i think they need a break they need a break and when they come to the center and uh, listen to the different uh, experiences of people some senior administrators academics or uh, ngos you know some of the community leaders uh, when they come and uh, you know explain uh, what has been possible then I think they carry fresh ideas back and this is one way that the administration can be invigorated uh, uh, in India. I think Center for Innovation 
uh, and the way uh, it the studies have been carried uh, at most sincerity and uh, the the desire on the part of the center that the information and knowledge will spread uh, all over india so that indian administration the quality of indian administration improves uh, not only in the overall governance but governance of different sectors of the public policy and uh, i have been uh, a participant uh, right from the beginning whenever they had a meeting whenever it was possible i have gone and interacted uh, with uh, and we have been sharing our own experiences uh, with uh, you know i mean uh, with different civil servants i think it is that spirit i would think that this center has extremely done well and perhaps uh, the government of india and the state governments uh, will have to support this uh, sort of work so that it is sustained for some more time and uh, till uh, innovations whatever innovation is there in any corner of india right that uh, reaches all corners of india i think uh, is perhaps uh, the goal and we hope that uh, society as a society indian society as a society benefits from its own experience experience any corner of india i think that in my view is the uniqueness of the this uh, entire study of innovations in public policy our association with uh, sip started when mr uh, chakrabarni who was the director at that time visited aravin in 2012 uh, to discuss with us about how aravin can collaborate with us so during that meeting with all the senior leaders of aravin he explained to us about the mandate of uh, sips and how how they are going about uh, translating some of the best practices in the private sector and the ngo sector in the into into the public health public systems covering the different areas like uh, education e governance health and uh, many other areas which involve service delivery so as a result of that discussion with all the senior leaders we decided that we'll work with some of the regional institute or institutes of ophthalmology in the country along with sips Uh, to see that uh, how we can realize the full potential of this rivos which have got a excellent infrastructure and good human resources but it's not being fully utilized sips was very effect- efficient in putting together the workshop in a very short time under the leadership of the joint secretary at that time uh, ms sujaya krishnan so this was a, we felt it was a great way to start this collaboration of taking the best practices from different uh, sectors and put them into the public sector and uh, subsequent to that uh, the the sips also and mr uh, chakrabarni also requested us to share the aravind model of eye care especially the primary vision uh, eye care centers we call the mission centers with uh, the uh, with the health department officials in several other states so that has been one uh, great initiative uh, which we feel will go a long way in improving the eye care to the villages in, uh, in our country the other area where uh, mr chakrabarni and also the sips wanted uh, was how do we improve the performance of some of the low performing districts for various reasons some of the districts are not performing well especially with respect to the cataract surgery so we have identified along with sips about uh, six of those districts uh, the sips has taken the effort to speak to their respective the government the health secretaries and the concerned program officers in those districts to mobilize them to to work with arabin to see how this uh, their uh, their performance can be bettered so you now this collaboration with the sips and arvin we hope that it will continue to grow in the coming years and we also heard about the other initiatives of sips in uh, health in other areas of health in education and e governance i think such a, such an initiative of replicating the best in the uh, in the private sector and public sector across the country and today i think sips to my understanding is playing largely advocacy role to a certain extent implementing role and if it can be expanded if it also can be made as an implementing agency 
uh, i think it it the the whole thing can be very fast tracked all this uh, replication process this innovations from various uh, areas various sectors can be brought into the public sector very soon and i think in the, in the today i think we have sips uh, in in an located in hyderabad it will be good if we can have uh, yes, a similar agency in each of the state that will that will work with the sips to replicate if this continues it will be a great boon to the country i've been associated with the center for innovations in public systems for the last 2 uh, 3 years and uh, i was uh, my experience has been uh, quite pleasant uh, because uh, this is a unique institution uh, it's a kind of semi government a quasi government or funded by the central government but basically it is to uh, 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 reproduce good things happening facilitate the reproduction of good things happening in the public system throughout the country and uh, i've seen them uh, i've been in the seminars and workshops and i myself have contributed and i find that uh, they have been able to uh, enthuse a lot of uh, people in the government offices in the government ias and otherwise uh, across the country on uh, uh, the good that is happening in other parts of this country and many many of these innovations and experiments have been rep, uh, reproduced and replicated and that is the beauty of it and personally i have spoken uh, in many of the workshops on uh, uh, the 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 need for uh, medicines for all free medicines for all and how some of the states have done it and how this is doable and every state in india can do it uh this is the uh, what have been generally talking about apart from political economy of uh, um medicines and pharmaceutical industry health and political economy of health and so on and uh, i i found the staff right from the director mr chakrapani and all the staff very dedicated committed and uh, uh, very very helpful and facilitating and the work and they are also very motivated they believe in what they are doing that is the beauty of it i congratulate uh, sips uh, on this uh, wonderful achievement and then i uh, while wishing them all the very best uh, i have lot of expectations on uh, sips and one of the best things uh, i liked in sips was like it brings all the innovators across the country and even world uh, together and then makes all the practitioners uh, come there and then learn from those innovators and when we go back after these conferences to our institutions and in case we face any glitches and sips is always uh, there to be contacted and then they will make us contact those innovators and they also provide a lot of material wherein we can have we can use it as a ready reference and uh, in fact uh, whatever uh, we have been doing in our schools and then whatever progress that could that we could make in our schools it's only because of the you know organizations like sips and then i profusely thank in fact i have no words to thank them for whatever they have been doing and uh, i thank chakrapani sir and his team and everyone uh, for doing this wonderful job uh, to make a stronger india i have been associated with the uh, caps uh, fr right from the in inception and uh, from the beginning itself uh, uh, dr chakrapani sir has been uh, contacting ing and uh, we had uh, three four levels of association with caps the first level of association was uh, what do you call conduct of seminars and best practices uh, workshops dissemination of best practices so for this caps did uh, shared lot of resources which they uh, what do you call scouted out from different parts of the country and we conducted three or four if i remember correctly five workshops on urban governance health management maybe revenue management we had two three two levels of workshops on health management and we also conducted a workshop on actually developing competencies for documentation of best practices and the third level of thing was actually uh, we also shared some resources with caps on some of the best practices which we had uh, uh, come across in the state of kerala and chakravani sir had actually taken these resources and used them for uh, conduct of workshops in other parts of the country and uh, the uh, the fourth uh, thing was chakravani sir was actually a member of the uh, cms jury we had instituted an award for innovations in best practice innovations in best practices 
and the awards for innovations in best practices was actually on four uh, areas one one in public policy and one in uh, what do you call development administration and uh, what do you call uh, public service delivery development interventions so uh, procedural interventions and so we instituted this workshop in 2011 and chakravarti sir and cas has been a very moving kind of inspiration in actually collating and actually vetting these nominations and uh, shortlisting them and we had actually successfully instituted and uh, are distributed these awards during 2011 2012 the procedure for 2014 is underway at the moment and chakravarti sir is also a member of the jury and uh, we have also associated the caps in the organizing of their uh, 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 for contacts and workshops in other parts of the country also and we are also collaborated with him so i i believe that caps is definitely a very major role in uh, what you call uh, in, uh, in uh, propagating best practices and innovations uh, in the country for, in the years to come because uh, the concept of innovations itself was alien in the in the field of public administration before uh, caps came into the picture though it was very much there so once uh, the caps came due to uh, its very proactive involvement and with uh, with this combined support of a very small group of committed professionals uh, they have done really wonders uh, in the field of dissemination of best practices so this is what i have to say about caps and i wish caps the very best in years to come center for uh, innovation in public services is a good organization and we've been interacting with them in uh, various uh, forum in my previous stint in higher education i had the uh, good fortune of interacting with them uh, in various conferences they would highlight some of the best practices happening in india and i requested chakrapani garu to give me an exclusive uh, seminar on higher education practices Uh, he was very positive and immediately responded and we conducted a conference in vijayawada i also had requested him to call one of the top colleges in delhi because we were trying to get in touch with them from a long time and we hadn't succeeded uh, chakrapani gar immediately called that uh, particular college and they came down and we had a good interaction with them and the seminar was a big success and not only was the seminar a good success about the best practices in the colleges but uh, we also were able to prepare an entirely new syllabus for uh, ba honors economics based on the top colleges of uh, uh, delhi and other which we had interacted in the conference uh, or to be the conferences which are being conducted by seps uh, as whether it is the periodical conferences they have or the uh, civil services day conference which they had recently done they always highlight the positive aspects there are a lot of people who are very pessimistic about government work or private work or ngo work but these seminars always highlight the good work being done in all these uh, spheres and uh, i uh, really appreciate seps and uh, the g uh, chakrapani garu and uh, i feel uh, such conferences which they are doing in such good work should be done more often and uh, and basically they are able to respond to every requirement which the government departments has which is really very good and uh, re really required during these days I learned first about SIPS uh, uh, when Mr. Chakrapani called me up three years ago, and then he visited us in uh, in Bilaspur in Chhattisgarh uh, for a full day to explore uh, the various innovations in healthcare that we at uh, People's Health Support Group or Jams for Us, Sayo for short, uh, have developed over the last 16 years. and uh, we were we were able to share the developments in um, answering important public health questions the innovations that we have developed uh, with him and he carried back uh, these this experience uh, to share in his own team team at sips and later particularly he was impressed with the idea of opening full day worker based stretches or what we call as pulwaris in um, in rural uh, bilaspur district he uh, and that we could that we could uh, share it with various uh, stakeholders who look up to sips for uh, guidance 
for those innovations that are uh, likely to be useful in places other than Chhattisgarh also. And uh, I had a wonderful opportunity to share this with a large set of people uh, through Skype uh, discussion a couple of years ago. Um, and uh, and thus, uh, indeed, there was, it was followed by a large evaluation which SIPS did. Uh, I think uh, the SIPS has brought out a report on this and has shared with the government of Andhra Pradesh, if not with other states. And I hope uh, that, has, that, is, uh, that is going to bring, up, bring out some outcomes in terms of the state of Andhra Pradesh at least uh, trying to implement it. At the same time, I feel that you know in, uh, the uh, the enthusiasm that was there and the promise that is available in you know innovations in healthcare that we have developed to be replicated elsewhere uh, could need a little more fillet. And uh, I, I I'm I'm waiting for SIPS to warm up to the idea and uh, you know use its own uh, own platform to uh, share it with the larger world outside SIPS. Uh, it's, been, it's been a pleasure knowing SIPS and being associated with it. Uh, this Center for uh, Innovations in Public Systems, which is uh, running as part of the Administrative Staff College of India, but an independent, as an independent organization, is a very innovative uh, organization by itself with uh, somewhat uh, limited funds which were made available with the clear indications that further amounts, uh, grants may not be available. The organization has designed a very, very cost effective but most interesting and useful way of making innovations really made known to people who can apply those innovations and improve the public services. There are a lot number of organizations which do a lot of uh, research on the art and science of uh, innovations. I think uh, that is a matter which we can leave it to the academics. But what the practitioners in any of our uh, public systems like uh, education, health and water management or sanitation, we would be interested in knowing how some others have done it with all the limitations that are imposed by the government systems and uh, the other economic uh, environment, but have succeeded in doing something which is uh, very useful to the people. So. SIPS identifies those innovative uh, systems and uh, sp speaks with extensive uh, interaction with uh, the people who are involved in those innovations and bring about documents which uh, set out the best practices as uh, booklets. But more interesting is that they organize a number of meetings. I've done, well, they have done over a hundred, there must be at least 25, 30 of them in Hyderabad. Most has been my fortune to attend most of them, well, which are held in Hyderabad. And I should say that in each one of those uh, meetings, I gained more than I had to spend. The leader, the reason is, that they are able to bring the people who have been the, the, the luminaries who are behind those innovations. If it was something to deal with uh, the uh, organization like Arvind Hospital, they get the person who is in charge of the hospital, who has worked with uh, the founders of the organization and tried to set before us. And uh, this is followed up in the case of government officials by taking them in groups and exposing them to such a system. I think uh, by this they have done more contribution to the 
art of innovation and making public systems work better. I congratulate the organization and I wish them long, long, uh, active, long more year, many more years of uh, very active and uh, uh, successful uh, number of uh, interactions which they are able to bring with the officials as well as non-officials and also form a very important bridge between these two systems of organizations. I have known uh, SIPS, which is Center for Innovation in Public Systems, for the past about uh, two years. Now, it's only about five-year-old institution, but it has done a lot of work from what I find from their uh, literature as well as my experience uh, here. Uh, I have come here two, three times for uh, giving uh, talks on uh, various uh, uh, subjects, uh, mainly on uh, uh, land uh, administration system, innovations to be brought about in land administration systems mainly and also related administrative uh, improvement systems. Now what uh, SIPS has been doing is something uh, unique which uh, very few or which no other institution to my knowledge has been doing. It is uh, they actually collect a lot of uh, best practices done in various other uh, institutions in various states and collect them together and then publish it and make it available for all the institutions in uh, all over uh, India. And uh, their, uh, uh, their reach is quite a large number of subjects, right? starting from administrative system to health system to ration card systems to various types of uh, uh, systems that uh, they have been uh, studying and collecting uh, information. Uh, one, one thing if I may mention, what they can also do is, apart from collecting the best practices of various institutions in India, there are many things which you have to learn from our own neighboring countries. It will be a great thing if uh, CIPS can collect such uh, information and um, uh, have uh, uh, dissemination seminars and workshops in India for other people to follow, to learn from them. I wish all success to the CAPS. For an organization or institution, five years is a very small time. But however, the progress made by SIPS and the family in the last five years is highly significant in the sector of public system innovations. In the last five years, SIPS has mastered the processes like identification of innovations, documenting those innovations in a scientific manner to a large extent. Its recent efforts in distribution or sharing of this knowledge of innovations across the country are slowly bearing fruit. My association with the SIPS, uh, both on personal front as well as as a representative of Dr. MCR HRD Institute has been um, of great influence on myself. I had benefited with this association in a, in a large way and uh, which has also led to uh, signing an MOU between SIPS as well as this institute. Apart from uh, what activities we are engaged in at present, I think in the long run uh, the, the very scope of SIPS could be widened itself by uh, including something like knowledge management and uh, the center could actually uh, look at itself uh, you know enlarging into a, a virtual university wherein uh, across the country and <clears throat> through collaborations with the international organizations a knowledge management uh, university kind of virtual university could be uh, coming out uh, from the efforts of uh, SIPS at present. So, um, once again, I would like to wish the SIPS, the director, uh, Sri Chakrapani Garu, and the whole family of SIPS uh, my hearty wishes on the fifth uh, Foundation Day, and I wish that SIPS will celebrate many more such uh, Foundation Days and more significant Foundation Days in the years. 
Yeah, uh, I must congratulate the Center for Innovations in Public Assistance uh, within such a short span of time that it has uh, created such a volume of database on perhaps every sector in the country, education, health, uh, uh, every sector and so, uh, social sector. And uh, it, they have brought out compendiums of innovation by the government. It gives a hope that uh, India's bureaucracy, India's officers, uh, uh, India's uh, civil servants and public servants uh, are actually working and uh, they are pioneers in their work and I do hope that we learn from them and we learn to replicate what they are doing and that they don't remain as pilots and as innovations but they become policies for the entire country. SIPS conduct just in a program lo almost uh, more than three years since in regular ga attend out na nandi. In fact, uh, 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 Chakrapani Garu is doing a yeoman service in the sense he is uh, inviting the experts in their chosen field and especially with governance and administration and not only they are delivering the lectures and this message has been sent to the length and breadth of uh, the Indian uh, administrators. What kind of service they can really do to the society he is actually taking all the care to dissipate the knowledge, the, the best practices, the best practices that are there anywhere in the world. It's not just available in India. Anywhere in the world, he has invited people and those practices, he is trying his best to dissipate to all the states in India. And uh, then he is also putting some pressure to the state governments and other administrators to follow the best practices practiced elsewhere. In that sense, he is, has been doing a tremendous service in improving the lot of the general public through the civil services, through good governance, through better administrative these things. And I wish him all the very best on this Foundation Day. Thank you very much. I am Esvira, working with the India Post for the last almost 35 years. Regard if I, I, first of all, I want to thank SIPS for giving me this opportunity um, to express my views and uh, some of the issues relating to uh, my own observations and uh, my association with the SIPS. I understand that SIPS has been uh, doing for innovative methods and uh, for implementation in public service and uh, I also understand that it has been associating with nearly uh, 24 states and union territories and uh, they have adopted about 359 innovative methods and most of the things my understanding is that if we implement these innovative methods definitely there will be lot of improvement in public service and we can create lot of transparency in the public service also uh, saving lot of manpower using uh, innovative methods as well as reaching the ultimate aim of the government to the public that is about and uh, I wish that SIPs should enhance their uh, area to all states and uh, one day it should become as international organization uh, regarding my association with SIPS DOP has been disbursing Narega payments and social security payments for both Telangana and uh, Andhra Pradesh governments almost for a long time subsequently with the technical collaboration of some software companies we innovated new methods using point of transaction device that is BOTD, a mission enabling us to make payment to the beneficiaries through biometric authentication only. Subsequently, we upgraded our uh, 
this one like technology to aadhar enabled payment system sips uh, director uh, mr chakarpani garu came to know about this uh, procedure in the postal department then he approached me and explained all the things to him he was very much impressed and asked us to give some presentations in some of the uh, courses organized in sips i organized two class, uh, presentations one at banjara hills office and one at tirupati i think in banjara hills uh, your office i organized this program for the assam circle officers and in tirupati for tirupati district administration and uh, some officers from kerala and orissa also i wish sips be successful in a longer way and it become a international organization very soon thank you very much for giving this opportunity thank you